Friends, welcome to the tutorial series on network analysis made simple. This is a module wise electric circuit analysis paper solution series. In this tutorial, we are going to solve CBCS scheme electric circuit analysis paper of December 2017 January 2018 module 1 of syllabus 15E32. Friends, I prefer to emphasize on basic concepts, strategy and thinking process rather than detailed mathematical steps. I am sure you are well equipped with the relevant mathematical skills. Hope this tutorial ignites some of your thoughts. Let's go ahead. Friends, first let us answer question 1 to distinguish between 1 active and passive elements and two ideal and practical sources. Friends, active and passive circuit elements are distinguished based on their nature, function and the ability to control current or deliver power or energy. Active circuit elements in electric circuits are those which produce or deliver energy. They can also be called as donors of power. For example, a battery, a DC generator or an AC generator. Whereas, passive circuit elements are those which are capable of only receiving energy. The energy received by them is converted into heat or light or stored either as electromagnetic energy or as electrostatic energy. For example, resistance, inductance and capacitance. Energy received by resistance is converted into heat or light Energy received by inductance is stored in the form of electromagnetic energy whereas energy received by the capacitance is stored in it in the form of electrostatic energy. Friends, now let us distinguish between sources. In general, sources are classified as those which deliver specified voltage or current to the network connected across them. An ideal source is that in which its internal impedance is assumed to be zero. Representation of ideal voltage and current sources are shown in figure. Whereas, a practical source in general is that in which its internal resistance or impedance is considered to be present. In case of practical voltage source, its internal resistance or impedance is represented to be connected in series as shown. Whereas, in case of practical current sources, its internal resistance or impedance is represented to be connected in parallel as shown. Hope you understood it. Friends, next we shall solve question 2. In this question, we are required to determine I1, I2 and I3 in the network shown in figure. Observe the given network. There is one ideal source of 10 volts in one branch. There is one ideal current source of 3 amperes in the other branch. We need to write three balance equations of which one equation has to be for the branch containing ideal current source of 3 amperes. By writing the balance equation for that branch, we get I3 minus I1 is equal to 3. I3 minus I1 because I3 and 3 ampere source current direction is same. Note that. Friends, next by writing the balance equation for loop 2, we get minus 4I1 plus 10 plus 9 plus 5 plus 4, 28 I2 minus 10 I3 is equal to 0. Friends, as there is one ideal current source in one branch, we need to identify the super mesh by opening that current source. The super mesh identified is shown in figure. By writing the balance equation for the super mesh, we get 7 plus 1 plus 10, 18 I3 minus 10 plus 4, 14 I2 plus 4 I1 minus 10 is equal to 0. By rearranging, we get 4I1 minus 14I2 plus 18I3 is equal to 10. By solving the three simultaneous balance equation 1, 
टू एंड थ्री वी गेट आई वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन पॉइंट नाइन थ्री थ्री एम्पियर्स आई टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो फोर सेवन एम्पियर्स एंड आई थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स सेवन एम्पियर्स फ्रेंड्स नेक्स्ट वी शेल सॉल्व क्वेश्चन थ्री इन दिस क्वेश्चन we are required to find node voltages va vb vc and vd in the circuit shown in figure using nodal analysis observe the given network there are five junction nodes in the network they are va vb vc vd and a reference node there is one ideal voltage source of 8 volts in one branch there is one ideal current source of 4 amperes in another branch there is one voltage controlled current source of 3 vc amperes in another branch further there is one current controlled voltage source of 6 i1 volts in another branch the problem seems to be complicated but very easy friends if you keenly observe the given network you find that vb is known And Vb is equal to 8 volts. We have to find the other three unknown node voltages, Va, Vc, and Vd. By writing the nodal equation for node Vc, we get Vc minus 8 into 0.5 mo minus 4 amperes plus Vc minus Vd into 0.5 mo is equal to zero. friends by solving it and rearranging we get vc minus 0.5 vd is equal to 8 next by writing the kirchhoff's voltage equation for the branch va vd we get va minus 6 i1 minus vd is equal to 0 but i1 is equal to 8 minus vc into 0.5 mo by substituting for i1 we get va minus 6 into bracket 8 minus vc into 0.5 mo minus vd is equal to 0 by solving and rearranging we get va plus 3 vc minus vd is equal to 24 further by writing the kirchhoff's voltage equation for the super node va vd we get va minus 8 into 0.5 mo plus va into 0.5 mo minus 3 vc amperes plus vd minus vc into 0.5 mo is equal to 0 by solving and rearranging we get va minus 3.5 vc plus 0.5 vd is equal to 4 by solving the three simultaneous equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 we get va is equal to 9.142 volts vc is equal to minus 1.142 volts and vd is equal to minus 18.285 volts we know vb is equal to 8 volts it is simple isn't it friends friends Next, we shall solve question four. In this question, we are required to find the equivalent resistance across A and B in the circuit shown in figure by using delta star transformation. Observe the given network. The strategy will be first to look for the series and parallel connected circuit elements, reduce them, and draw the reduced network. In the reduced network, at any stage. if series or parallel connected elements are not present then use star delta conversion observe the given network 1 ohm 2 ohm are in parallel and their equivalent is 0.666 ohm as shown in figure now in the reduced network we find that series or parallel connected elements are not present but 1 ohm 1 ohm and 2 ohm are in delta 0.666 ohm 2 ohm and 2 ohm are in delta 1 ohm 0.666 ohm and 2 ohm are in star 1 ohm 2 ohm and 2 ohm are in star we can choose any one to convert i prefer to convert 1 ohm 1 ohm and 2 ohm 
connected in delta into star as shown. R1 is equal to 1 into 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus 2 equal to 0 0.25 ohm. R2 is equal to 1 into 2 divided by 4 equal to 0 0.5 ohm. R3 is equal to 1 into 2 divided by 4 equal to 0 0.5 ohm. The reduced network by introducing the star in place of delta is shown in figure. Friends, observe the reduced network 0 0.5 ohm and 0 0.666 ohm are in series and their equivalent is 1.166 ohm and 0 0.5 and 2 ohm are in series and their equivalent is 2.5 ohm. Further, 1.166 ohm and 2.5 ohm are in parallel and their equivalent is 0 0.795 ohm. Finally, 0 0.25 ohm and 0 0.795 ohm are in series and hence RAB is equal to 1.045 ohm. Hope you understood it. Friends, next we shall solve question 5. In this question, we are required to find 1 resonance frequency, 2 Q factor and 3 current at resonance. We are also required to derive the relevant equations. Using the data given, the circuit drawn is shown in figure. We know the impedance of the circuit Z is equal to R plus J into bracket XL minus XC. At resonance, the imaginary part of the impedance is 0. Hence, XL minus XC is equal to 0 or XL is equal to XC and Z is equal to R and current at resonance I0 is equal to V divided by R. So, omega naught L is equal to 1 upon omega naught C or omega naught square is equal to 1 divided by LC from which we get F naught is equal to 1 upon 2 pi into 1 divided by root LC. By substituting L is equal to 5 millihenries, C is equal to 20 microfarads and solving we get F naught is equal to 503.29 hertz. We know I naught is equal to V dot by R. By substituting the values, we get I naught is equal to 10 ampere. Also, Q is equal to omega naught L by R or that is equal to 2 pi F naught L by R. By substituting the values, we get Q is equal to 1.58. Friends, Next, we shall answer question 6. In this question, we are required to draw the dual of the given network. Friends, duality is a property of a circuit. It can be considered to be two different concepts appear to behave similar, two different circuits appear to perform similar. In electrical network, there are elements, sources, concepts which have duality property. For example, current is a dual of voltage, mesh is a dual of node, voltage source is a dual of current source, G is a dual of R, C is a dual of L and vice versa. The dual quantities and the concepts are given here for your reference. Friends, now using these details, let me explain the procedure to draw the dual of a network. Identify the loops in the given network. In each loop, place a node, take an extra reference node as shown. Draw the lines connecting nodes across each branch as shown, including the reference node. Replace each element with its dual. Replace series circuit with parallel circuit and vice versa. For example, between node 1 and R, there is a series circuit in the branch with voltage source V1 and R1. So, it is replaced by current source I1 in parallel with the conductance G1. Similarly, between node 1 and 2, L2 and C2 are in parallel and that is replaced by a series circuit 
with C2 in place of L2 and L2 in place of C2. Similarly, between node 2 and R, L1 is replaced by C1. Between node 2 and 3, L3 and C3 are in parallel. L3 is replaced by C3 and C3 is replaced by L3 in series. Finally, between node 3 and R, V2 and R2 are in series. V2 is replaced by I2 and R2 is replaced by G2 in parallel. The entire dual network drawn is shown in figure. Hope it is clear to you. Friends, for strengthening your basic concepts and developing your thinking process, I suggest you refer my textbooks, Network Analysis Made Simple, Basic Electrical Engineering, Basic Electronics, and Linear Integrated Circuits and Applications, which are available online. Thank you for watching this video.